Right, I'm going to try and give you an idea of the condition of the outside of the vehicle as an overview before we go into a video of the inside and then some de more detailed videos of the different pieces of function. So I like to think that this van is as clean as possible for a vehicle this age. There are no obvious marks on it anywhere. Um, gas bottles are twin gas bottles in the storage section. There's a Fiamma awning that goes the full length of the vehicle. Side door entrance to the habitation. Cassette for the toilet. That's the bathroom window. Garage at the back. I think the underside of the vehicle is particularly clean. The garage itself does take uh, three plus bikes and all the equipment you can take. Bearing in mind that the vehicle is best for two people and can take three or four people. As it sleeps that many. Rear view cameras at the back. Twin cameras, one shines down on the bumper and the other one shines back to see the traffic and where you're going if you're reversing. Reversing lights of course. Nice big reflectors and lights section on the rear bumper. This is the other garage door. Again nice and clean on the underneath. You might see a little bit of water streaking as it's raining today. Helpfully. TV area at the top. It's got a rotary control. You can point it directly at the broadcast source. Electrical point and the fridge venting, inside vents. The door by the dining table and the kitchen. These come out on hydraulic rams as you'll see later. The water supply. This is where the water supply can be drained if necessary underneath the vehicle. Again have a look at the condition, make sure you're content with that. There is a tiny mark if I can zoom in there on the door handle. Diesel fill. And reasonably clean rear view mirror and indicator lens. And of course, nice clean front to the vehicle, including a uh, respray that I had last year to take away all of the stone chips. I think there probably is one if I look very, very carefully. But it's an amazing condition for a vehicle this age, even though I do say so myself. And there you have it. Please text me or uh, call me if there's anything else you want to know about the vehicle. I'm going to try and also give you a quick guide, overall guide of the inside. Give you an idea of the flow. When you see the individual pictures, it doesn't always tell you what it feels like inside. Here we have the captain's chairs spun round. This is the normal configuration when we stop somewhere. Dining area, as you can see. TVs. Pops out of its cupboard in the back there. I'll show you that a little bit later. Kitchen area. Separate hob and sink. Storage at the top. Grill, the oven. Freezer and controls and fridge or storage. That's the outside of the first wardrobe and the second one is down the side there. And the bathroom. Not ventilated of course, should you wish. Unmarked shower. Set toilet all in good condition. 
all the windows open on uh, hydraulic rams that keep them open if you, if you want or storage at the top and lastly the bedroom area which for me was the uh, biggest selling point of this van to be able to uh, finish driving over there walk down here and blump straight into bed if you're tired if you've done a good eight hour stint shouldn't do that much in one go I suppose but uh, it's really nice to just pop into the bed right thanks very much and uh, have a look at the other photos to give you a feel of the rest of the van okay so we're now on the inside of the van I'm going to show you the cab first usual controls for the van over here air conditioning and the various uh, heater settings heater blows very strongly um, we have uh, various compartments for storage etc as you can see both the front seats are captain's chairs that just swivel around by pulling the lever on the side and uh, present you nicely to the table I would like to point out that we've got um, auxiliary speakers in the, uh, uh, on the high sides of the van uh, linked to a Pioneer um, aftermarket radio that has audio input if you need to. So in the summer months when we do have some sun it's good to have the uh, lines pulled back. I'll show the storage as we go through the van but there is plenty around to uh, take all the clothes etc. The control panel will need um, some explaining all by itself so I'll just show you a picture of it but it controls the outside light, the power to all the interior lights uh, and the auxiliary water pump and the battery conditioner. So, um, all of the windows are the same and they have these two covers on them that I'll explain using the side window here. The first one is a fly screen that simply detaches here and the bottom one is a sunscreen that detaches and goes down. Either one can go up um, or down as you want to depending on the weather. Over to the midsection of the van here we have the wardrobe, one of the two big wardrobes that we have with hanging space and space for folding clothes. Also on this side of the midsection we have the sink and the cooking facilities. The cooking facilities could probably have a program all on its own. Let me just talk you through the sink. We have a drinking water tap with its own filter and a hot and cold running water tap that runs straight into the sink. We have two electricity supplies, auxiliary electricity supplies that can be used on the hookup and also another couple of storage areas, one we use for dishes and whatever you like, food etc. As mentioned the cooker has three rings with the controls there, plenty of storage underneath that fix firmly and more storage under the sink. We have a spacious fridge and freezer section. Above that some controls for them, for the grill and the oven. On this side we have a spacious and separate toilet and shower. The standard cassette toilet with storage space under the sink. Hot and cold running water into the sink and the shower of course. Storage above the unit is quite extensive and boxes in there to hold things still. Let me just mention, very useful for all showers is to have a vent at the top that's 
controllable from this control here. It opens and closes it. So reading lights above the bed and storage all the way around the cup, the beds, as you can see. Above the bed, very useful for hot days, is an air vent that can be opened with this control, switched on with this control, and the direction of the fan can be reversed with that control. So towards the end of the van we have mid storage, there's a storage cabinet here, and we have the leisure battery situated next to it, and the last wardrobe on this side. If you go to the top you can see the control for the TV aerial that turns around and faces the direction of the signal. One thing I did forget to mention, of course, is the TV. It slides out of this cabinet here with this door that shuts away completely when you're travelling uh, and comes out and can be rotated around so you can see it from any angle of the van.